Hello, my name is Cooper Walter and I'm a Deakin University student in Burwood studying a Bachelor of Film, Television and Animation. Today is Tuesday and this is the day of my life. Usually at 10am I have a class but unfortunately the tutor was sick today or fortunately depending on how you look at it so I just spent an extra hour at home doing stuff which was including eating breakfast which we'll see later on I got a coffee and had a shower, brushed my teeth, and then I went down to campus to do a bit of study. I get up usually at 8am, gives me, gives me an, extra, an hour and a half to get ready before I go out onto campus and take my class. Here I am having a coffee, my go-to is a vanilla latte, magnificent, and here I am having a shower and brushing my teeth. And I thought today, during this day of the life, I thought I'd get the GoPro out, put it on the chest, and take it out on campus. Looks nice, doesn't it? And here it is in shot. There I am, cool as, ready to go. And away I am. It's around about 10.30 at this stage. Uh, I don't have a class till 1 p.m., but I got some stuff to do in between. So I, I live on residence down at Deakin University. Yeah, it's quite nice, but I've always wanted to live on my own, hopefully in the future. Two bloody doors to get out, two green buttons, and outside it's pretty cold, pretty windy, and a few drips every now and then, but it's okay. It's a nice walk there down to campus, nice and relaxing, a bit of exercise, uh, overall not a bad day. I'm currently in my second year of, uh, of this course, hoping to afterwards seek a career in the media industry, whether it's camera operating, uh, TV directing, or editing in film, documentaries, uh, the lot, uh, and even possibly become a media teacher. The, the possibilities are almost endless for me, so I'm, I'm really excited for the, for, the, for the career ahead once I do finish my studies, but uh, I am halfway through. I've got a year and a half to go, so I just gotta get through that, and, uh, and I'll be all on my way. So here is the, the Deacon, the bridge that separates the law building, the residence building, and the rest of campus. The overall campus is actually really massive. I, I'm pretty sure it's one of the biggest on campus. I'm, might be mistaken, I uh, have to do some research on that later. It's a long walk, isn't it? And here I am going through, uh, as you can see, building HF. It's where you'll see a majority of students, there's a couple of cafes, plenty of study areas, plenty to sit. Uh, it's actually a nice area. I do tend to every now and then relax here to study, but uh, it's often spots are getting taken. So the best option uh, for me, at least now, is the library. I've only been to the library a couple of times, but uh, it's actually a nice area, plenty of space, and uh, and I'll be having a meeting with uh, with a short fiction film team up there eventually as well, uh, because uh, one of my classes is short fiction film, and I get to make a, a short fiction film, obviously. Uh, but we're currently in the development stage, very close to pre-production. We just got to be able to put a final script together, and then we've got, and then we'll be on our way. So here I am going past the cafe, which that cafe, by the way, is pretty shit, is what I've heard. And here I am walking into the library. Uh, it's a very nice library. I've only been there, like I said, a couple of times. Um, but like I said, it's, it's a nice area just to, to sit around and study. And here I am just looking for a spot to sit. I wanted to find somewhere where I can plug my laptop in because my laptop battery is pretty awful. I, I have an Acer Nitro 5. Uh, it's a gaming laptop, uh, but it's very decent. It's got a it's got a GeForce RTS 2060, uh, maybe only eight gigs of RAM and a Core i5, but the the graphics card definitely helps. Um, I was spending about half an hour down there just working on a cover letter and a resume for one of my classes, uh, Screen Careers, uh, which helps uh, helps me learn uh, how to get through internships and jobs uh, to be able to work in the media industry. So it's a very uh, crucial unit. I'm. Uh, I'm forced to, uh, to to get into it, so uh, yeah, I'm just currently typing some things, and uh, it's, only, it's only the early weeks, uh, so I've still got a ton to learn along the way. Um, and here I am in the meeting with the, with the team on the uh, on the short fiction film. I was around there for about 20 minutes, and then I said to the boys, "All right, I gotta go to go get some lunch." The, the class was about half an hour away at this stage, so I really needed to go down and go get some lunch. Uh, I forgot to film the uh, what I had. I had a, like a grilled uh, chicken burger with chips. It was actually really, it's actually really nice. It's my go-to when I go to this particular restaurant uh, that's next to the bridge that you saw earlier. Uh, I usually go there on Tuesday, Wednesday for lunch. Uh, we had to present uh, what, what what our idea was to everyone else. Um, like we had to show them how 
synopsis, synopsis uh, what, what the film's about, and we eventually had to present uh, the actual script. So a bit of a bit of a table talk there. Uh, the class lasted three hours. Uh, three hours later, I kept back to residence, uh, and I've got a couple hours left. And there's the bridge that I was on this morning, uh, and this is where you, this is another way to, to get back to residence. I honestly prefer this way of getting back to residence, uh, particularly when I finished class in that particular building I was in, because it's a, it's a lower level, uh, just making my way down. And that's that's where I live. That's the residence I live in. Uh, it's ridiculous. I think it's around about 700 to 800 or even 900 resident, uh, students that live on, on this residence. Uh, so here I am, uh, like I said, had a couple hours to spare. And just like that, I am heading back into the elevator, downstairs, and off, and off to footy training. Uh, footy training takes place at the Oval at Deakin University uh, in a team under the name of uh, Umea St. Leo's. Uh, Deakin University majorly sponsors them, that's how I knew about them. Uh, just wanted to keep my footy going and uh, here is a bit of a montage.